I was doing a lot of drugs. My girlfriend had five years, had just broken up with me. But I had a great job managing one of the best hair salons in London. But I was lost. Some of my best friends were Muslim and they were so kind and understanding. And I got curious and I converted. They didn't judge me and to be completely honest, I think for that bit of time I found in religion what I didn't have growing up. But this is is quite deep. I still use a lot of the principles, being kind and being considerate. But like any religion, there's parts I just didn't agree with, so... Along with London, I left it behind. And then everything changed. I was working full-time at a barber shop in Exeter. I'd wanted to own my own business, um, and along with a partner, we were waiting to sign a lease for a shop. I was cutting a client's hair and I felt someone come up behind me. Please leave when you finish this haircut, said my boss. So I did. I had to do every pop-up I could. And then we finally opened our shop in 2017. And it's been doing quite well since. And then one day I met Holly. Our first date was at a local pub. I had to go to the toilet to give myself a pep talk, a proper get yourself together one. I was so nervous, I gave her a handshake at the end of the date. Three months later, she was expecting and we planned it. She already had a boy and in the space of a few months, I had a toddler and a newborn baby at home. It was all I'd dreamt of, all at once. It was the steepest learning curve ever. And then it got dark and pretty heavy. For six months, I slept on the living room floor I felt no joy, I didn't want to even go near Polly. All I felt was pressure. She would lean in for a kiss and I'd feel horrible, you know? I struggle with communication. I didn't have it growing up. People need validation. That used to be my mindset. Holly turned to me and said, we either see a therapist or this isn't going to work. We had to start looking into each other's eyes for two minutes a day. We also started to explore each other's needs more. Thing, things are different now. Now when I'm in a place that you know, I need time for myself, I ask Holly, give me X amount of time and we'll talk. Okay? I've learned that to give, I have to top myself up. Does that make sense? I do exercise. I take time for myself. When we go for a long walk together or we sit having a conversation <laughs> in a coffee shop or... I see her with the kids. Everything just makes sense. Even just holding hands, suddenly everything becomes light. 